those boxes are made for one hand, right? <laughs> well, they're both for babies. No, oh, that's funny. Maybe they're good friends. Good morning and welcome back to the vlog. We're going to attempt to see if our potatoes are ready. Again, never grown potatoes from seed like this. We've done the store-bought potatoes. The plants are starting to die down. My trusty old Dick Raymond, the Joy of Gardening book says now's the time to dig them. However, he suggests checking them first to see if they're ready. So I don't know what I'm doing, but we're gonna try it. All right, do you see anything, folks? Oh, I think I see one. I think I see one. Oh, I see one. Oh, it looks big. Oh, look at this. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That is so cool. I wonder if there's any more like that. Oh, okay. Oh, there's another one. Another nice one. Wow. I bet that split because of the rain we had. We had we've had really inconsistent rain this year, but it looks good now. Before I keep digging, he said he takes his thumb and he rubs hard. And if the skin rubs off like that, they need to go a little bit longer. So, that being said, I'll finish digging up this plant. We will use these fresh, and then I'll let the other guys over here go for another week or two, and then we'll dig the rest of those. But how cool is that? Oh, there's another one. Nice worm. That's what I like to see in my garden. Here, you go over there, Mr. Wormy, so I don't hurt you. So there's the harvest from one plant here. And we'll go weigh this. We'll probably keep cook these up. Maybe tonight for dinner. Look at they're beautiful. I've never had potatoes like that. I'm gonna say that's probably eight, ten ounces. So from one little seed potato well actually part of a seed potato looks like we've got about two or three pounds there it makes me wonder if all the plants are like that or if it's just this first one but whatever the case is it's exciting very very exciting we'll go weigh these and see how much we actually got what do you think the kids reaction is going to be when they see these hey guys what? look what i got in the garden those are Aren't huge. Those, those huge? Are, they're bigger. Wow, those are big. Those are only from one plant art. Wow. wow. One plant. plant. So we're going to weigh them. See how, how many. Much? What do you think? Two to three pounds? Yeah, it looks like Yeah. It. yeah. We That's, have They're bigger nothing. than store oh, They're like potatoes. rocks. Yeah, they are. Let me go get the scale. Well, I said between eight and ten ounces, so. Some little guys. I just think. Have you ever seen like this art? Yeah, let's see, don't we usually get tiny little potatoes? Yeah. They usually we just get them from the ones that okay, well, we get at the right. store that are um, overly ripe. Oh, come on. Let's and then see. this time we actually bought the seed potatoes. Just shy of three pounds from one plant. Do we have a yellow squash ready? Uh, maybe two. Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, that one and that one. So go ahead, you can grab those. Both of them? Yep. Be real careful. This plant is hanging now. 
Nice, nice, nice. Ooh, he's that's a beauty. Yeah, and we picked it just at the perfect time. Yep. Fortunately, my tomatoes finally succumbed to a blight, which it is uh, September 5th. It's a little, for us, this is really good in the season to have made it this long without them getting a significant blight. So today we're doing tomato sauce. At least we're picking the tomatoes. Hopefully we can get the tomato sauce going and ready. Oh, thank you. I have a bucket here. We've got to pick, don't pick the green ones. Um, we'll probably try to attempt doing something with the peppers too. And Art and I were talking that the one thing I love with peppers is peppers and onions. So I think we're going to make some pre-made frozen bags of just peppers and onions today. So right there, you can put it right in the bucket. Thank you, honey. So I think that's sort of on the agenda for today. We are getting ready for John's uh, open house graduation party, which is going to be next week. So we're trying to get everything in the yard done and we're going to be doing it outside. And yeah, it's going to be a busy day. So let's, let's get some work done. Now that's a big one. All right, let's pick some more for the sauce. Oh, you found another squash? Yep. Whatever you say. Those are nice tomatoes. Mom, found, do I think, five more or four? No, that's probably good now. Let's wait on the other ones and we'll see how much we need more for more sauce. Yellow squash was three pounds, ten and a quarter ounces, and then, let's that's see, this was three, six, rock. Seven, eight, nine, almost ten pounds of tomatoes right there by themselves. has been phenomenal this year. I think it helps having it partly in the shade over there so it didn't like dry out and die immediately. But I don't know, somebody showed me this last year and it's really cool. Oh, there's a, what kind of bug is that, Art? Which one, where, where is it? The bug? Oh, yeah. What is that? Uh, well, it's a big leaf hopper of some that's sort. A, that's not a leaf hopper? It is. Really? Yeah, I'm gonna take yeah. outside before it goes, ah! you just jumped oh, into a leaf, oh. it's a leaf hopper. Never a lack of nature around here. But anyways, if you snip off, let me show you. Thank you. I lost the garlic. Oh so no, garlic overboard. <laughs> if you snip the plant off like right here, you can see this is a, so you've got your main shoot and then you have these little side shoots. And as long as it hasn't gone to flower yet, it's like this top one you can't do this with. But if you cut off this side shoot, you can actually root another plant. I already did one earlier this week. I'm gonna to need to plant that one and I'm gonna root this one. I'll show you, show you that one that rooted. So here in a northern window, I have a little jar here and I put this basil. And in one week, this is what it did. Look at all those roots. So I'm gonna plant this 
And then I have a new basil plant and I'm going to put the other cutting in here and let that root. If any of you guys ever want to try uh, continually growing new basil plants, putting them in water for a week is a great way to just start new plants. You never have to plant new seeds. I have not had success wintering over basil in the house. I may try it again this year since, well, it's not a bad thing to do now that I know about the whole pruning thing. Last year I was too busy. The year before I had Daniel. So we might try it again this year and see how that works. But so far the basil's been fabulous, but I know once once we get a frost, that's gonna be the end of the basil. So I may try to root one and keep it in the house and we'll, we'll see what happens. While the sauce is cooking, I was just checking over Art's to-do list. If you guys remember, Art used to be a fabulous list maker and list accomplisher. In fact, you did a, Art, didn't you do a challenge you had to have 95% checks or 90% checks for a whole year? 85% for 85. 2019. Oh, that was last year? Yes. And I did it. I it was, it went down to the very last day, but I did it. Time is not... It, time, we're just... I am confused by time. It just doesn't seem... Like that was last year. Yeah, it was. Really? Anyways, we, I don't want to say we abandoned the checklist, but things were so busy with doing the cabinets and the, well, actually it was the island, building the island that we abandoned. Can you believe it? We abandoned his checklist. That doesn't mean well, that we... I did not abandon them. I just don't do them quite as much, but I need to. Right. So today we made a list. We have a two-page list of all the things that need to get done. I just was looking at it to see what needs to be done. It's actually not that bad. Um, it looks worse than it actually is. So uh, the next thing well, I think we we're to gonna do, that, do kale. Right, we're gonna freeze some kale. Um, do you have a pen on you? Yes. Okay. okay, freeze kale. You're showing them my terrible handwriting. No, at least you can read read it. It's not like chicken scratch. Right. Okay, freeze kale. Let's um let's do the peppers and onions next. Okay. The kids are peppers. being good, so do that and on, what about onions oh, oh you're right peppers, yeah, peppers and, and, onions. Onion, and onions we have to get some quart size bags do you want to get the quart size bags yep. and then i'll pick the peppers What do you think? Three pounds? Yes. No! Wow! We missed that one. Not by much. Two pounds, nine and a half ounces. Since we have so many banana peppers, which you guys saw we have a lot of, <clears throat> one of my favorite meals to make, because it's so easy, is just sausage, peppers, and onions straight in the crock pot. I don't have sausage right now. It hasn't been on sale. So Art and I were talking last night that what we're gonna do is we're gonna make packets of peppers and onions. We're gonna freeze them. Then when I find the sausage on sale, I can just take the packages out, put them in the crock pot, add the package of peppers and onions. We're all set. Good job. I guess I'm very glad I'm not doing more than three bags. Wow, those are strong. So those are the onions are done. Art's working away on the peppers. We're gonna stuff those and then they'll be done. Really fast and easy. What'd that take? We're gonna be about ten long. minutes, if that. That's a lot of kale. It is. Now can we read it or not? Maybe you could put the um the camera in there <laughs> looks like two pounds five and a quarter ounces so there it is we've got two bags of kale um we did a loose pack on these i'm not sure how tight you're supposed to pack them but we decided to just keep it loose because you're not going to use like hunks of this in soup you're just going to use a little bit uh, we've ha we continue to sell some items on ebay so that is that has been our daily daily chore so it is i think almost one o'clock yeah. it's almost one o'clock hello so we gotta run to the post office before that you okay uh -oh. <laughs> before they close but i have never frozen kale before so i do not know you guys might be looking at this saying you're doing it all wrong i might be doing it wrong i don't know what i'm doing but there's first time for everything there it is kale greens 
throw it in the freezer. Let's see what happens. Oh. We got a clog. Yes. We have. So a little bit of an update. I think it's whoa. Well, I have three, four o'clock. It's a four o'clock. Did we make four o'clock yet? Uh, it's fifteen forty-nine. Fifteen forty-nine. Okay, so it's almost four. It's eleven thirty-five. Yes, my clock is wrong. So we are working on, um, well, the older kids are finishing up bagging zucchini. I don't know how many zucchinis are. Quarter uh, zucchinis and oh, about 10 squash. So those have all been shredded and we'll use those for bread and soup and whatever. <laughs> and while um, he's doing that, I am working on making the peach pit jelly. I think I, I think I showed you guys I was working on that. I filtered it out, and now I'm just getting this ready to go. I've got everything out, and we just have to cook it down and can it. We'll see how this is. Last year I made it, or two years ago, and I made peach pit jelly. Yeah. But it turned into peach pit syrup because it never set up. Hmm. My bad. Yeah. So we're gonna try this again. I'm using Sure Gel and that hopefully this really one. I know it was really good. We like the syrup. It didn't yeah. go to waste. What did we serve it on? Do you remember? Yeah, pancakes. We did a lot with pancakes. It was really good. Yeah. Oh, it's almost ready to boil. It's cool paddle wings. <laughs> Look at that. Look at the cool paddle wings. Yeah, it's almost done. It. Keep stirring it, kiddo. See, isn't that cool <laughs> paddle wings? They twist around like this. I like the cool paddle wings. Sugar. This is a rolling boil. Mm -hmm. But why is it not boiling like 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 the water over here? Because it's not water. I like the runny stuff, mommy like syrup. Syrup. I like the runny stuff like syrup, mom. Do you mm -hmm. know that? skin. So interestingly enough, it says to skim it and when you're skimming it, it actually all the foam draws together. So it actually makes it pretty easy to take it out. Never had that happen before, Charity. cleaning up the fridge, decided on making dump soup. <laughs> there were just so many little odds and ends of there, particularly with all the fresh produce in the garden, that it just, it seemed to make the most sense. So Art started mowing, and now it's starting to rain. They didn't call for rain today, but there it is, it's raining. So he's outside, the older kids are trying to help him pick up. I was trying to cook. I have a disaster in this kitchen. An absolute disaster. So, Thomas it is. Little people are in front of Thomas, including Daniel, for a few minutes while I try to finish this mess. <laughs> it's just like disaster everywhere. Little girls were helping me, but it got to a point once I had to really hustle and get this food done. Um, I, Thomas it is. So, the soup, what I ended up doing with that is everything in the fridge got dumped. I had some chicken bones left over, really no meat on them, so I threw them in a stock pot, boiled them for 20 minutes, drained off the bones, so then I had the stock, and then all the miscellaneous vegetables, we're talking peppers, potatoes, zucchini, onions, I don't know what else, carrots, I had carrots from our garden, all went in the pot, here it is, boiling away right now, looks really good, smells, oh, I had a couple open things of different spaghetti sauces that I had cooked from um, the tomatoes that I had made, so everything went in the pot, and I think what I'm going to end up doing with this is just pureeing it all, 
and making it like a thick vegetable soup. Oh, I threw some potatoes in there too. Not our homegrown ones, but just some of the other potatoes. It turns out that after dinner, uh, we saw an ad on Facebook Marketplace for a compound miter saw, which turns out that in a video a couple, a couple videos ago, Art's miter saw actually broke. So this one came up for $40. There it is. On its way down to the basement. But a really nice one for $40. I thought that was a really good deal. Hi. Are you ready for bed? Yes. Yeah, we're getting ready for bed. I am just pureeing all of the tomato sauce that we made. There it is. I got one more tray to do. It actually got left in there a little bit longer, so it's more dehydrated and less juicy as normal, but that's okay. It'll be make really good sauce. And I think that's what I like the most about this recipe is it is very, it's adjustable to you and your time limit. So if you don't have time to cook it until it gets really thick, that's okay. You'll have a thinner sauce. It'll still taste just as delicious. In this case, yeah, I got forgotten. And it's okay, it's just thicker. But it's the beauty of the recipe and it just, it's, oh, it tastes so good. If you haven't tried the recipe, it's in the link. Good night. Sleep tight, kiddo. Can you sing night night? <laughs> good job. Night night. Now, oh, that's, if you haven't tried the recipe, join a whole, I know a whole bunch of you already have. You've commented it is your number one favorite sauce recipe. Try it. You need to. It is easy to assemble. It tastes amazing. And it's really good. I know it's really good. And no more burned pans. That to me, that's huge. Look how thick that is. Oh, so yummy. Now we have to can it. Well, here it is, 11:30 at night, <laughs> and I didn't finish the video. But we finished cleaning up the house. The jar of tomato sauce exploded in the pressure canner. Well, it didn't. The lid popped. Well, the lid popped. Out. Yeah. So we chucked that ring, and well, we'll just use the jar. His list, how is it? Is it pretty good? Uh, uh, I had hoped for better. Yeah, uh, we missed some things here. That page, you can see that Daniel uh, got to it there. <laughs> and then that one, I, that page, we only yeah. missed one. Okay. So that's the other 27. We missed uh, one, two, three, four, seven, eight. We missed eight. So 21, um, sorry, 19 out of 27. Not too that's bad. not that bad. Well, it's bad, but it's not terrible. It was a huge list, and we got a ton of freezing. So we froze two gallon bags of kale, 12 two cup portions of zucchini, right? Yes. We made two and a half pints of peach pit jelly. We made um, tomato sauce. Help me out. What else am I forgetting? Let's see. What else? Well, um, I think that was it. Yeah. We did four things. Peach pit jelly. Yeah, I said the jelly. We did a lot. It's been a busy day. So, we're going to hit the hay. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Good night.